guys this is the diversion road as you can see it's almost ready Yes, for the blog. For the blog, blog, blog. Shout out to Ate. Thank you. So, guys, this is the diversion road. So, you will pass several barangays like uh, San Francisco, San Celestino, San Benito, and Santo Toribio. And then you will come out from Talisay, close to Fiesta Mall area. And you got the perfect view of the mountain. And this one is going to Padre Garcia. So here, from San Francisco to Padre Garcia, approximately when I'm driving, it's like three to five minutes away. Okay, and on the other side, it's, it's 10 minutes driving once the road is fully built, okay? So this is, guys, it's really a nice improvement in the area and i don't know if you you can see it but there's a bridge over there i have to get a closer look and uh, we are already passing this way and it's perfect it makes a lot easier hi guys good morning so this is arlene from the philippines and for today's video actually i'm featuring a 6,766 square meter guys this is a commercial lot and before it was an agricultural lot but they converted actually the agricultural lot into commercial lot because it's very close to the new diversion road located in the area and actually it's just on the back side of the diversion road that's why it's now considered as commercial and this property is ideal because it's along the barangay road it's very close to the new diversion road and it is with a mountain view it's actually a resort and i like this area and uh, this property is very nice because you have access to everything you have access to the road to the diversion road water electricity internet connection and of course you got the stunning view of mount malarayat so guys if you are looking for your perfect summer getaway like sort of vacation house and if you want to have it for private for your family use it's also perfect guys so let's check the property okay so on the next part of the video i'm gonna show you the construction site here on the diversion road in that way you can see how long it's progressing and uh, i spoke to the foreman about it and said if if all things went well or go well then it will be approximately two years because they still have to build two bridges okay so let's check the property and before i forget i want to thank all my subscribers for continuously supporting my channel thank you so much guys your support really means a lot because uh, all the money i got from youtube is for paying all the indigent students enrolled in private and public schools in rosario batangas so thank you so much guys so let's check the property okay so as i told you if the diversion road is uh, already built like completely built so from the area to padre garcia it will be three to five minutes away and to lipa city if you're driving like me then it will be like 10 to 15 minutes away and it's very accessible to balete exit so that's why it's convenient for those people who are coming from metro manila and you don't have to worry about utilities we have water electricity in the area and yeah it's perfect plus you got the mountain view so over here if you can see all these things these are the construction site for the diversion road so there are the workers where they are living actually and here on my right side this will be the resort and it's measuring 6766 square meter commercial lot and with a frontage of 140 meter long so it's it's really big i mean with a long frontage and the elevation of the property because it's located and lipacity is 160 meter 
above sea level and there's not so much traffic here so as you can see the barangay road it's two-way lane and big cars can still pass on it so it's not a problem guys and this resort has a lot of booking over the years except during pandemic time because you know everybody is not allowed to go out but here i can see already the resort so if you are thinking as well for example you bought this property and you wanna cut costs when it comes to electricity don't worry guys i have a solar guy who will do it for you at a very affordable price so in that way you can save money for electricity and you can use it to invest back in the resort or buy another investment so let's go we are getting close actually wow that's a nice plate NDI okay so from here I can already see the resort and there's a nice pine tree okay so this is the resort and just remember this is a commercial area guys so the property starts right here where you can see the building so from this point okay and up to the area later I'm gonna show you that's 140 meter long frontage and over here from here up to that point so, so later I'm gonna walk around the property in that way you get a perfect view of this property hello I think he's looking at me so we're gonna walk the frontage of the property and that way you will see it and guys I will attach a google map location of the property I mean the picture because in that way you can see where it's located but for those who are really interested in this property you can send me a message and i can give you the exact location of the property i will send you the google pin or the drop pin of this property so the frontage is really long it's 140 meter Oh, it's nice today actually it's kind of windy I like it and over here I can see already they have an avocado tree perfect and on this area it's still part of the property but it's planted with lots of banana trees so really really nice So up to this point where you can see the wall or I can see the wall rather. So the property is up to this point. Okay, I have to stop. So the property ends right here. That is the end point of this 140 meters. 40 meter frontage and the very good thing about this property as I told you you have the internet connection here you have the electricity you have the light everything and of course you are very close to the barangay outpost so when you have your own parties or something like that or for security reason don't worry about it because you are protected okay so this is it and over here you can see it's also all fenced okay so it's all fenced here and when you cross actually that point that is already the diversion road so this property is really ideal so, okay guys we are about to enter the property so the property has two gates that one and the first one but we're gonna enter on the second one because it's opened and of course you have the water tank because this resort has a swimming pool so that's why it's perfect so let's go 
so this is it guys so as you can see it's planted with all sorts of fruit bearing trees which i love very much so you have here pomelo and coconut trees and you have all mango trees and under the mango trees you have nice garden sets actually so it's very nice and yep that's it and you have bahay kubo here two of these so it's really good and lots of fruit bearing trees and that one is an acacia tree look at that guys it's perfect and over here i love all the mango trees here in the area so this is how the gate looks like i have to stand back a little and that way you will see it so the road is a little bit higher than the property but don't worry about it because lipa city with an elevation of 160 meter you will not get flooded guys you know i mean manila has to drown first before lipa city because lipa city is one of the coolest towns in the philippines uh, the first one is baguio the second one is tagaytay and the third one is lipa so you don't have to worry about it if you are thinking like oh lipa city will get flooded because i gonna buy a property next to a creek or a small river don't worry about it you know it's very safe to live in lipa city and of course we are three kilometers so we are three hours away from taal volcano so it's still very safe and during that time when the Taal volcano erupted, we hosted a lot of families here in Lipa City for, for safety, you know, so we housed them. And the mayor was very much welcoming about it. So all the nice trees, you know, it's perfect, guys. So let's check this one first. So this is a small foot walk. So all the nice trees, guys. I love it. It's very oh nice. Look, an old bicycle and converted into a flower garden. So later we're gonna check each of the houses here because I'm not familiar about it. And here we have a gazebo. It's very nice. We go uh, gonna go up there and here we have the sitting area and of course we have the swimming pool so i gonna go up here to see exactly what can be seen here it's very nice it's quite maintained actually so over here so as i told you we have the second gate over here and they have a small chapel and here we have, I think, the karaoke area, so the chapel, and karaoke area, and this is a sort of pavilion, which you can see directly on the road, and this is the tall tree you can see on the road, and over here, so we have to go down, and you can see the gazebo. and nice palm tree and here it has actually some room so later we're gonna go inside and check on this so don't worry about it they have a housekeeper here which she is doing all the cleaning in this area so over here very nice i love it so guys we are actually here by the pool area and i really love all these palm trees really very nice look at it it's very bushy on top so this is the swimming pool area it's running water and over here this is the side of the building where there are several rooms and you have access to the swimming pool directly via this stairwell and of course the fountain is still not working now because there are no guests but basically when there's guests then it's actually open it's flowing and running and look at this all this area so from that point that is a room and this one are open open area so where you can eat and that one too and this one has a room on top so you can rent it out for the evening okay 
so it's really a nice property so that small one if i'm not mistaken is some sort of like for the kids and this is for the adults and we have the fountain here at the moment it's not working because there are no guests and we have a young coconut trees they are like bonsai and of course you can have the fruits if you like and this one too as i told you it has room on top and here i think if you will go up you got the perfect view of the mountain and here these are the eating area and the last one on the third one that is also a room so i just want to go up to check if i can see the mountain over here okay so let's go up and then of course if you're gonna ask me this is the boundary of the property so we are quite high so here it's not a, it's a it's a creek but it's a dry one and if you can see over there that is already the workers houses temporary houses or makeshift houses and that is already the new diversional all this area so it's you know you are very close to the diversion area and here you can see it's very yeah it's all completely walled so the owner spends yeah money good money building this resort because you can see it's all walled you know completely so in that way he did a very good job i must say and here you can see the elevation so if i'm not mistaken like i don't know seven to ten meter high so over here you can see so let's just go up okay yeah okay here it's a uh, you got more view very nice looks like it will rain today and those are the workers clothes and the building oh i think it's locked but uh, i don't know how i can see it i will ask them i think here you can already see the mountain because the mountain is over there so let's go and check this one so you have here your tables for your picnic so they are also accepting day tours here so that's why you know you can make your own barbecue and this is the water tank for no not water tank for the water pump sorry water pump for the swimming pool very nice and over here this is the house which i told you you can also rent out so it's very yeah it looks good of this area because it's full of fruit bearing trees and really big trees i think if i'm not mistaken this one is common sea tree really nice and over here let us check what is more here i think these are the public toilets okay so over here public toilets is very good so very very nice and you got the cool breeze of the mountain it's perfect so let's check more about this property so the border of this property is actually the small creek which has which has no water on it so it's dry creek and i think uh, there will be water once you we have a strong typhoon or something like that but don't worry about it because the property is way higher than the creek you know and here we have a small bridge they make it nice and i think they are missing some fish but that's okay and over here we have lansonis trees and we have the storage area this is all for the storage you know for the owner storage and here you can see it's really full of fruit bearing trees so i gonna walk on this side and 
and of course the young coconut trees if you like I think you can ask them for free because these are dwarfs and let us check okay because I'm curious so this is the back of the storage so you have a big mango tree here that's Indian and all these small ones these are all Lansonis trees so it's still part of the property and over here we have banana trees because uh, it, this part is commercial area but still there are some portion with agricultural on it means that you know the caretaker is still living here so in that way he can clean the area so here it's fenced with concrete post and barbed wire you can see it actually and over here yeah the creek is really dry wow but i, I mean the rock formation is perfect i love it tau tau po really nice so see i love the rock formation here and all the big trees and this property is full of lansonis trees mango trees banana trees and all other fruits like tamarind trees i saw as well avocado trees so if you are into farming still but you want to enjoy this developed area already then this property is perfect for you guys and of course this as well is income generating right because you can rent this out so this one is chico and this one is an old avocado tree see nice this is chico guys i love chico and of course we have native chicken here look at this right already bearing fruits perfect and this one is i think they have to fix it looks like it's forgotten and this one too but guys look at the plants i love it it's so bushy and we have lemongrass over here and here we are going to the area where we have the still part of the property right so here we have all the chickens this is where the caretaker is living so over here they made a fence made from bamboo so that the guests can only go to this area where we have the resort and to separate the resort and the caretaker's house so it ends right here so if you noticed the wall is actually along the barangay road so here and of course as i told you it's with wall and then you have the wire over here the mesh wire i don't know how you call it exactly and it's planted with citrus and banana trees perfect oh nice banana trees i love it and you have of course solar light over here installed so it's bright at night or not too dim at night perfect guys i mean if you are here and there are some some bananas to harvest i'm pretty sure the owner will say okay you can get a share it's not a problem and over here there are some animals i think it's a dinosaur okay let me check i'm not so familiar with it and they make a trellis here so i have to go back then you can see it a little bit more this is the trellis it's very nice i mean when it's fully green because it's still summer then it would be nice for your instagram photos and you have some giraffe here oh mr giraffe hi and you have zebra over here is it i'm i'm not sure and here you have of course an elephant uh, i have to tell you guys when i was in thailand i was very lucky because i was able to ride to ride on an elephant back and it was pretty amazing experience now 
all the elephants in Thailand have to retire so because of the animal protection so that's how it is just a short clip about my life you know before being uploaded on youtube so let's go and check the other side of the property i mean the farm side of this so guys now we are entering the part of the property which is used by the caretaker for farming and of course there are still lots of fruit bearing trees we have mango lansones uh santol that one is santol and all the lansones area and of course what i really love the chickens and we have a rooster over here let's check actually the boundary of the property over here so it's still there guys so i don't know whether you can see it that is the concrete post with a barbed wire so this property is fully fenced so you don't have to worry about it but of course if you are free to make it wall right to have it walled in that way it's very safe and we have a nice tree over there that's an acacia tree and some mahogany trees so let's check they made a path walk here in that way it's easier access so looks like the caretaker is into roosters very nice oh what is that okay small chicken and here it's not familiar with me so he's running away so look at this guys right it's all green i love it and of course this part is with oh some ducks okay have to check this hello there are four babies and let's go here and okay this is the caretaker's house look he got this he got this coconut heart hey, coconut sorry banana heart that's perfect with that's perfect with coconut milk. and the dog is not happy with me you remember guys during pandemic time that this one they are oops that they are selling it for a very high price so this is it look at it it's very nice right i also love this one and here i gonna check stop it doggy here we have the still the yeah the border the concrete post and the barbed wire I'm sorry about the trash and here I just want to show you the side of this property where they make the wall and oops some baby ducks and rooster so here where we have the wall it's completely walled so it's very good guys and it's not happy okay guys so if you are interested in the 6766 commercial lot available in Lipa City, Batangas which is 3 kilometers away from Padre Garcia and approximately 13 kilometers away from Lipa City via the the normal barangay road and travel time will be much faster once the diversion road is being built this property is ideal because you got the perfect mountain view you have utilities water internet access electricity and this is a private resort so you can as well use it for your own or it can be your uh, income generating project so this property is for sale for 42 million pesos all in means that the seller will pay everything including all the taxes and the transport costs and everything to have the title into your name that is a very good deal guys because commercial area here in Lipa City is quite expensive and if I'm not mistaken the zonal value of this property is between seven to eight thousand pesos per square meter that is the zonal value so the market value is always a little bit higher than the zonal value so if you are interested in this property you can send email at oli.arlina.gmail.com or you can check 
my other email at arlene.libandovsky at gmail.com or you can send messages, call me on my Viber, WhatsApp, Telegram or just my mobile numbers at 0917-621-4090 or 0998-574-7194 thank you so much guys for watching stay safe and if you have any questions or inquiries please don't hesitate to send me a message shoot an email and i will answer right away stay safe guys thank you bye So many babies. How many? Two, four, six. Babies. Oops. Oops. Just want to make a video of you. Babies. doesn't like people.